So today I'm going to venture into some potentially perilous territory uh, and talk about the uh, upcoming US presidential election and specifically uh, what policies might be in play and um, how this might uh, affect uh, the market. Uh, and in order to try and keep it uh, uh, fact-based and quantitative rather than qualitative, because I know that path's going to lead to probably half the viewers getting very, very annoyed, uh, I'm going to lean quite heavily on something called a policy uncertainty uh, indices. And these were developed by uh, three academics, uh, Mr. Baker, Bloom, and Davis. They've been running these indexes, indices since 1985. And at that time, you know, they just used to do things like do a physical count of things like newspapers, remember those, um, and say, well, how often does the word uncertainty um, pop up in certain contexts, obviously, over the years. It's been massively refined, and it, it makes quite interesting reading. So what do these indices actually tell us now? Um, where does the market think there's, there are pressure points? Um, what are the hot-button topics? Well, I mean, let's start with the things which don't seem to be contentious at this point in time. I mean, healthcare certainly doesn't seem to be uh, a hot point. It was a feature in the early part of Trump's presidency when he tried to effectively dismantle Obamacare. It might well come and revisit us, but it's not top of the list at the moment. Taxation, strangely enough, um, also doesn't seem to be uh, a major concern. Um, interesting, I guess, because um, I, now we're in a situation where the Republican Party doesn't seem to be the, uh, the, the party of uh, fiscal responsibility, as some would say, and, uh, and austerity, and they're probably as big spenders, ultimately, um, as the Democrats. But, you know, we'll have to see how this washes out. But again, not top of the list. But let's talk, turn now to more interesting stuff. Well, you know, um, one of the things, interestingly, I think, which does seem to be highly uncertain at the moment is monetary policy. You know, what's the Fed going to do next? And this is in sharp contrast to, you know, market pricing at the moment. Market pricing at the moment is very, very relaxed about the future because the Fed effectively has capitulated this year. They went into the year indicating they might raise uh, rates uh, by three uh, quarters of a point, and instead they've cut by three quarters of a point. And of course, the market's expecting to cut further. But, you know, the uncertainty indice says, well, actually, monetary policy is extremely uncertain and this may well be because the policy framework of uh, the Fed I think is shot to bits at this particular point of time and also we've got this overlay of uh, attacks on uh, Fed independence as we call it um, and of course Trump's most recent pick for the Fed Board of Governors um, is, uh, is himself causing, um, uh, causing that to be, to be questioned still further. Of course top of the list I guess no surprise uh, issues such as national security and king of the hill is trade. Um, US-China trade is clearly um, the pri most uh, primary concern of uh, market players right now. It's cited as a catalyst um, for a further re-rating should US-China trade relations get further resolved. Um, but at the moment, of course, it's a bit of a roller, roller coaster ride. So uh, if you look at it at the moment, um, you know, it's quite a, quite a laundry list of policy uncertainties and to put it in context, you know, I, t I talked about it from, from top to bottom, um, bottom to top, um, but, you know, on trend, you know, particularly on trade, um, you know, this, this, is, this is way out of whack with where we are for in history, you know, we haven't reached these sort of levels of uncertainty since these indices began in 1985. Now, are we going to get resolution? Um, well, I suspect we'll get some resolution, but it's going to take a while. We've got an exceptionally broad um, democratic um, uh, range of, uh, of potential nominees. Um, there is the possibility of a successful uh, Trump impeachment. I mean, that's not wouldn't be my central scenario, but it may get, get to the point where uh, ultimately the Republican Party decided he's such damaged goods he shouldn't be running against the Democrats. Um, but I would point out that even if we start to get um, clarity on the political side, we know who the, who's running uh, and we have an idea about who's going to win, there is bipartisan support in Congress at the moment between a more assertive trade, uh, more assertive line with China, and that impacts trade and it impacts national security. So it seems to me that whoever wins in 2020, we're going to have to contend with that. But I guess more opportunities for traders.